did the Philadelphia Eagles really just trade Hassan Reddick for a third round pick in 2026? From the outside looking in, this may make no sense, but everyone knew this would be a possibility because reports during the beginning of 2024 offseason that the Philadelphia Eagles had granted permission for both of Eagles pass rushers, Josh Sweat and Hassan Reddick to seek a trade. After Josh Sweat shocked us all with a cryptic social media post saying his goodbyes to the Eagles fans, we all thought Sweat would be gone, but soon after we discovered that Josh Sweat had restructured his deal and returned with the Philadelphia Eagles. And to make matters worse, the Philadelphia Eagles signed former Jets pass rush sensation Bryce Huff during 2024 free agency which all but implied that Hassan Reddick was done in Philly. Surprisingly enough, days before Hassan Reddick was traded, Jeffrey Lurie made some pretty interesting comments regarding Hassan Reddick that made most Eagles fans feel as though he would return. But obviously, that didn't happen. What, right now, what are your thoughts right now on Hassan's situation? I, I, I just see it'll, it'll play itself out in a, in a, in a very good way. How does all of this affect the Philadelphia Eagles moving forward, having lost their best player defensively? And where did contract discussions break down? And what role did new defensive coordinator Vic Fangio play in the Eagles' pardon ways with Hassan Reddick? Did Reddick want to stay? Did the Eagles want him gone? We will discuss that and then some. This is the voice of the Eagles show. And like always, God bless those philadelphia eagles but enough of that play the video it ain't no doggone tomorrow fellas what are you gonna bring to the doggone church are you gonna put somebody in their mouth are you gonna do your doggone job are you gonna pray from your doggone chest are you gonna pray from your heart and get everything you doggone got I'm Emmanuel Acho from the show Speak for Yourself sums up Hassan Reddick's time in the NFL as a star pass rusher perfectly. It's Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick, mm -hmm. he guess I beat you clean stats. Yeah. Only reigning defensive player of the year, Miles Garrett and Hassan Reddick have four consecutive seasons with 10 plus sacks. Hassan Reddick is tied for fifth in the National Football League in sacks over the last five years with 52. Behind the likes of TJ Watt, defensive player of the year. Miles Garrett, defensive player of the year. Hassan Reddick is the individual that ensured the Eagles would go to the Super Bowl two years ago because he knocked Brock Purdy out of the game. Despite how brilliant Hassan Reddick has been for the Eagles, it's clear to me he deserves to be paid, but the two sides genuinely couldn't see eye to eye. On one hand, Hassan Reddick was reportedly asking for $25 million a year, despite having a year left on a three-year $45 million deal after coming off a down 2023 season and turning 30 years of age pretty soon with problems stopping a run and dropping in the coverage. All things new defensive coordinator Vic Fangio would have been asking him to do. Instead of getting a new deal, Reddick would be traded to a different team and still not have a new contract. Hassan Reddick could have played his final year out in Philly and hit free agency next year in 2025. Since that didn't happen, I'm left with two possibilities here. Either Hassan Reddick just went out of Philly or the Philadelphia Eagles forced Hassan Reddick out the door after the acquisition of new defensive coordinator Vic Fangio was hired. Either way, I feel as though Hassan Reddick made a huge mistake. If he signs a one-year deal in 2022 with the Philadelphia Eagles, he enters free agency in 2023 as the hottest name on the market after his breakout year in 2022 with 19 and a half sacks, playoffs included. But he didn't, and the Philadelphia Eagles knew eventually for whatever reason they were going to have to move on from Hassan Reddick, and this was evident by drafting his potential replacement, Nolan Smith, in 2023 one year after Hassan Reddick's breakout year. And they also acquired Bryce Huff in the 2024 free agency. New defensive coordinator Vic Fangio had to have had a say in retaining Reddick, seeing that it's his defense, and typically when you have a new coordinator, you get him the players he like that fit his scheme, and the ones who don't, you get rid of them. Nick Sirianni goes into further detail about this. I think it's important 
um, that Vic had, you know, some of his guys that he's worked with before and that know his system and know the things that he requires. Um, and so there's a reason, you know, why there's there's some change there on the defensive side because he needed some guys that were familiar uh, with that, um, you know, which which Sean didn't have last year, you know, and, and, and so I thought that was important. The concern with Reddick is that he tailed off at the end of last season, finishing with five straight sackless games, including one in the playoffs. The Eagles changed defensive coordinators during the season, which appeared to affect Reddick's role and usage. New York Jets head coach had this to say about Hassan Reddick. All kinds of juice and gas off the edge. He's definitely a problem. He's definitely found a new lease on life in that front. He's dynamic. He's versatile. They can do a lot of different things with him, but he's a three-way rusher. He can win inside, he can win outside, he can run right through you. These were comments that Jets head coach, which is now Hassan Reddick's head coach, said about him before last year's matchup, Eagles versus Jets. I'm rooting for Hassan Reddick. He was absolutely amazing for the Philadelphia Eagles and one of my favorite Eagles. If he plays over 65% of the season with 10 sacks, we get a second round pick in 2026. But I'm rooting for him from that aspect alone. And I also like what he brought to the team. And I really wish we could have kept him, but I, I wish him the best. I hope he has another breakout year and I hope he gets paid. 25 30 million a year the eagles can very well overcome losing a guy like hassan reddick but they will probably most likely look to add another game changing playmaker on defense to cope with a loss of hassan reddick with newly acquired pass rush sensation bryce huff paired with jalen carter josh sweat and nolan smith i truly believe the philadelphia eagles will be fine defensively but they must add one more piece on defense and most likely it'll be in the secondary to pair with Darius Slay and Chauncey Gardner Johnson. And we must not forget the fact that the godfather of defense, Vic Fangio, is at the helm of our defense. Vic Fangio may be the greatest defensive mind in all of football as of right now. Fangio's defense have consistently been among the most productive in the NFL in a number of categories, including scoring, defense, total yards allowed, and fewest penalties. His defense have ranked in the league's top five yards allowed in eight of the last 13 years while placing in the NFL's top five fewest points allowed seven times over that span. Vic Vangio was previously hired in 2022 by the Philadelphia Eagles during the 2022 Super Bowl run. Fangio was spotted at a few practices that the Philadelphia Eagles had during their 2022 training camp. On October 10th through 2022, news broke that the Eagles had hired Fangio to serve as a consultant. He had been serving in the role for the season, but the team managed to keep the news quiet. Fangio signed a two-week long contract to help with the Eagles' preparation for Super Bowl for the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. Big Fangio has enough pieces to make the Eagles defense formidable and with the experience that he's ha that he has in the league and the accept the success that he has as well I'm extremely confident in Vic Bryce Huff Nolan Smith and Josh Sweat they have to step up Bryce Huff is an undrafted free agent his last year with the Jets, he had 67 pressures on only 334 pass rush snaps. An 86.8 .8 pass rush grade, which is the highest on the Jets. 22.9 pass rush win percentage, which is the best in the NFL. He had 10 sacks, 21 quarterback hits. He's only 25 years old. He's an undrafted guy, so he has a chip on his shoulder and he plays and he plays through the whistle he has a high motor and he's always given a hundred percent because a guy like that he wasn't drafted so he feels as if no one wanted him he wasn't good enough and he's out to prove everybody wrong and his 51.1 million uh, dollar deal this was the highest deal ever given to an undrafted player in the NFL so he made history I think under Vic Fangio he continues to excel and get better Josh Sweat 
is very similar to Bryce Huff. He had crazy success in production early on in a limited capacity. Jai Sweat was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the fourth round in the 2018 NFL Draft. In 2020, Sweat played in 14 games with three stars recording six sacks and 38 tackles and three forced fumbles. He was placed on injured reserve in 2020. On September 18, 2021, Sweat agreed to a three-year $40 million extension with the Eagles. A few months later, he was named to his first Pro Bowl. 2022, the year the Eagles went to the Super Bowl, Sweat recorded 48 tackles, 11 sacks, one forced fumble, one interception, and one touchdown. He helped the Eagles reach the Super Bowl. Nolan Smith, high upside, athleticism off the charts, former first-round pick from Georgia, great character and intangibles. Yeah. I think that goes back to the point about about some younger players and, and kind of in retrospect, just seeing you know, him certainly in the playoff game, one, one of the guys who played well in the playoff game, maybe giving him a little bit more time during the year and uh, experience. We talked about that. Um, he's got all the right tools in his body. He's got the right mentality. Um, and at the same time, he, he's got to go out and, and show it. Such an unfortunate situation losing hometown native Hassan Reddick, but I think the Philadelphia Eagles will be in great shape moving forward if other guys step up and buy into Vic Fangio's new scheme. This is the Voice of the Eagles show, and like always, God bless those Philadelphia Eagles.